All right, guys, so I've got a cool tool I want to show you guys. Um, for the longest time, I've been carrying a Baco Laplander, which is a very good saw. I highly recommend it. I think it, it, uh, it cuts well. It'll get the job done. There may be other saws out there but that are better, but uh, for those small little packable saws, that's a, it's a great saw. Uh, but I recently came across uh, a new saw called a um, Boreal 21 from Agawa Canyon. Um, this is it. Uh, when you order from them, you're able to uh, choose your colors. You're able to uh, do all, uh, all that stuff. Uh, choose your color, choose your frame color, and choose your saw blade. Um, the choices that I made were bright yellow and silver. Uh, the reason for this is if any of you have ever owned a backhoe Laplander and you've dropped it in the grass or uh, in the field somewhere and you're trying to find it, very difficult to get your hands back on it again. I've dropped one before uh, and it took me quite a long time to find it. There's three of us roaming around our our campsite trying to find the thing uh, we eventually got our hands on it but we were we were lucky so um, boreal 21 uh, that's why I chose these colors but you can also get black and dark green and all these other colors and uh, they have three different choices of, bla of uh, saw blades I have uh, I use the all-purpose quick look at the all-purpose blade and um, there's one for for uh, dry for dry wood or dry hardwood and there's another one that's uh, the, I can't remember what they call it, but the, um, something like a rancher's rancher's uh, crazy saw or whatever it is. Uh, they have a, a third option, which is a very heavy rip saw. It'll just just cut through anything you can throw at it. But um, I'll uh, see if I can find another spot here where we can find something to cut, and I'll give you a quick look at this. So originally, when I picked this, when I started looking at these, I was kind of like, well, how good is it really going to be? Uh, it does have, uh, you know it's going to be quite large and all this stuff but really it's only about 24 inches uh long i think it's even less than that 21 inches but uh, the setup is actually easy take this you open it up you drop this around feed your blade through the through the slot uh, uh, yeah click this into the hole there's a little hole you can click that into and you click it in and that's it I'll do that one more time because I look like a goofball doing it. All right, so there's your saw. Setup is easy. Open that right to there. Take this, fold it all the way around, have it go into the slot, and you'll see. I'll come up close. You've got a notch here. Now if you can see that, you're going to stick that inside the notch and just close it, and then you're ready to go. So I'll give you a quick tip also on how to. Uh, Use one of these safely so it doesn't uh, slip and cut your hand badly. Just keep in mind, guys, this is a rotten piece of wood, but it is quite big. It's probably about, it might even be too big actually for this saw, but we'll see. Um, when you're cutting with a bow saw, if you hold on to your wood and you start sawing like crazy like this, your blade can skip over and cross your hands. Whether you're wearing gloves or, where you're, or not, you're going to take damage. So what I like to do when I'm starting off is I put my hand through the hole. This way, once I start cutting and I get a good deep hole in, hold into it, now I know that my blade's in there. Now I can come across here and start cutting. It's a very simple technique. It's a very simple technique, but it's a technique that could actually save you. And when you're out in a place like where I am now, uh, a couple miles from my car, no civilization, haven't seen a person all day, you don't want to slice yourself open bad like that. That, that would be... Uh, that would be really crappy. I would not only think it would be a life a life threatening deal, but it would really put a put an end to to a good day. So uh, let's just finish this log off here, and we'll see how it goes. There we go. So. That all is still hard in the bottom, but that was basically as big as this blade could take. And I'll bring you in a, and take a look at it. Uh, this will comfortably cut six inches, but uh, I think if you play with it a little bit, you can really get your angles down and do, a, do some damage to some big wood. So uh, all things considered, once you're done, you just reverse the process, stick your finger in the hole, pull it out, Drop it back in the groove. This way, your blade is protected. You don't have to worry about it coming loose 
are popping open and, uh, and hurting you. And uh, the whole thing is uh, a little over a pound. Um, I'll actually, I'm not going to say that. What I am going to do is I'm going to put all the specs in the description down below. So check that out later. Um, pretty soon in the, in the future, I'm going to be coming into this spot and I'm going to be finding an open area and we're going to build a target for my bow so I can come here and shoot and practice and uh, I can bring you guys along with me. But we're going to build the, uh, the target and the target stand with this saw. So uh, stick around for that and uh, hopefully we'll see you again soon and we'll be uh, trying out the Agawa Canyon uh, buck saw. Thanks for watching guys. Get out and explore.